Hi, this is Bruce at Sun Pump. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to remove the little nylon barbed um, spacers that hold a printed circuit board in place. Um, they can be uh, difficult little devices and we're seeing one right here. Uh, I'll just put my finger on it. So that's the device and there's what it does as a purpose in life is to separate the PCB board from the aluminum heat sink. So let's take a little closer look at one of these guys and you know what we see on the side profile is that there's a little part that um, is this a barb like like a fish hook and I'll just rotate this 90 degrees and you can see the profile of it the barb and how it sticks out and it creates a gap that um, makes pulling the circuit board off very very difficult. Um, do not use a claw hammer to try and remove these things. Uh, you'll probably break the board um, or hurt yourself. So what we're going to look at is an improvisation, a tip, that you can use something as simple as a pen. And here I have a Government of Canada pen that I was given at a, a trade show. And it's not all pens, but uh, some pens will have a, a little barrel size that's appropriate for doing this job. You'll have to try a few out to find the right one. Um, the general procedure is like this. You just remove uh, the end piece. It typically unscrews. And then you've got your spring device. So remove uh, this and just set it aside. And we're going to put the barrel back. So now it's empty. And what it's meant to do is be able to insert over top of this barb and compress it down. And when it's compressed down, you can lift up on that part of the board. So let's just see if we can get it to work here with uh, my hands. So put it in there. Compress it down. And lift it up. Well, it's not working in this situation, but we'll try it again. These nylon bushings differ a little bit by half a millimeter in different boards. So the board that I have is different than the one that's in production. Um, so we see that this is actually a proper fit, and that's how I size this particular pen for doing the compression. It works just fine, but the barbs on the board are just a slight different, I guess, smaller diameter, and they're, they're passing by. So that has entirely to do with the sizing of the pen to get that fit correct. And when it's when it is a nice, correct um, fit, it will look like this. That's, that's the tip. Um, it may save you a lot of time. You can also cut these things off, but then they won't go back on. They're, they're, they're done. And you'll just uh, you replace, the board, replace the board with the heat sink attached if you can't remove these barbs. That's all for now.